Today, we're gonna make Don the Beachcomber's rum barrel. This will be the first in a series of videos spread out over the next coming weeks or maybe even months, exploring many of the popular rum barrels. And as I was just diving deeper into the rum barrels I wanted to cover over the next few weeks, I realized I don't know that much about the origin of the rum barrel or the stories behind them. What we do know is that the rum barrel became popular and it wasn't necessarily a cocktail that everyone was ripping off from Don the Beachcomber exactly or really even trying to, but it was something people were taking and making their own. Steve Crane had his own rum barrel, uh, Trader Vic had the rum keg, the Maikai had the barrel o rum, and Smuggler's Cove is notorious for their secretive rum barrel that contains <laughs> The main thing that they all have in common is a lot of rum. And the Maikai version is covered extensively at AtomicGrog.com. And that's what prompted me to want to know more and ask more. So I asked Jim Hurricane Hayward at Atomic Grog if he knew anything or could point me in the right direction. And he shared with me that Tim Swanky Glazner, who is working on a larger Don the Beachcomber book, had pinned down the rum barrel recipe to a collection of Don the Beachcomber recipes that he created in the late 1930s to early 1940s, with the rum barrel appearing on the menu first, at least in 1941. Now, I don't know the full extent of the collection, but Tim Glazner has uh, all of the Don the Beachcomber archives from his widow, Phoebe Beach. And if you follow him on Instagram, he shares photos from time to time that aren't out there for the rest of the world to see. That's a book that I'm super excited for. I love looking at old menus and just seeing what drinks were present and the ones Don had, and especially the ones with all the drawings and the glassware. So when that comes out, I'm sure we'll all know. The recipe I'm using today can be found in Sip and Safari, and Jeff Berry shares it as a version served at Don the Beachcombers in Las Vegas in 1965. But he also shares it as the 1940s version in the Total Tiki app. For Don the Beachcombers rum barrel, you'll need Angostura bitters, Pernod, grenadine, lime juice, grapefruit juice, orange juice, pineapple juice, a honey mix, falernum, allspice dram, a light rum, a gold Jamaican rum, and an aged Demerara rum. Ooh, it's a lot. I will of course be building this in a drink mixer tin, but if you don't have a drink mixer, you can always shake it. Start with one dash of Angostura bitters, six drops or one eighth the teaspoon of Pernod, six drops or one eighth the teaspoon of grenadine, one teaspoon of allspice dram, one teaspoon of falernum, one ounce of honey mix, one ounce of lime juice, one ounce of grapefruit juice, and I'm using a bottled white grapefruit juice today, one ounce of orange juice, one ounce of pineapple juice, one ounce of light rum, one ounce of a gold Jamaican rum, two ounces of an aged Demerara rum. All right, let's try Don the Beachcomber's Rum Barrel. So, I mean, if you're thinking about rum barrel, what do you what do you really want? You want rum, you want bold flavors, and in this case, you get a lot of spice. So the allspice comes through, little bits of bitterness there from the white grapefruit juice, and I, I'm sure I've made this before, and I probably didn't use white grapefruit juice, and I probably used different rums, but in this case, this does not disappoint. It's a great start to just exploring Rum barrels, obviously, because it's from Don the Beach Corner, but because it's also great. It's also just delicious. The honey's there just like in the background. Her nose there, barely. So, you know, if you're uh, like me, who, who doesn't like absolutely love absinthe, her nose flavors, I'm either like all in or all out. I either want to really taste it or I want it to be very much in the background. And this one is. So, you know, using the little dropper helps as opposed to a, a dasher or using teaspoons because you can really control how much you put in. So six drops of it is like just perfect here. 
And really, allspice and the honey add just that like unique, like characteristic of, of Dawn the Beachcomber drinks. And it all works together so well. And, and the rums that we chose here are, you know, very flavorful rums. And it just makes an excellent rum barrel. So that's the first rum barrel from Don the Beachcomber. And eventually I'll have a playlist um, that you can find on the channel. And at the end of this video with all of the other rum barrels. Now I have already done one about a year ago. I did the rum drum from Tropical Standard, which, uh, you know, I'm never going to go through and taste these side by side. That's crazy. But that is uh, an amazing rum barrel. I made it about a week ago. So I tried it again with fresh calamansi juice. It is fantastic. So uh, check out that recipe if you haven't checked it out already. And while the video is a year old, someone just pointed out that I, I messed up in the video and I used half an ounce of Demerara instead of a, uh, half a teaspoon. So the one, if you've been making the one from the video, it's gonna be sweeter, it's still good. But I, I've checked the recipe's description always in case I do mess up. Uh, the accurate one will be updated there, even if it takes me a year. So that's it for this one. It's Don the Beachcomber's Rum Barrel. It's great. Uh, nothing to complain about, but it'll be interesting to kind of, for me, to take notes. And if you want to play along over the next coming weeks and months, if you're watching in real time, then try making this one. We'll come back in the future. The roster for the Rum Barrels has already been set. And I'm probably going to have five six maybe over the next weeks and months. So check this one out, take some notes on what you taste, and then you can compare it to the other ones in the future. That's what I'm gonna do. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a like below, consider subscribing to the channel. If you really wanna support this channel, go check out the Patreon page where there's behind the scenes stuff and you can support this channel more. Uh, we have a Discord, we have a bi-monthly happy hours, and there's just a lot more stuff there. So go check it out. And otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.